Civilians. Um, it's a record I made at the beginning of this year and been brewing for a while. I think it's been about four years since I made the last record of my own, uh, Tiny Voices. And, uh, you know, I knew I was kind of circling the beast and had been for a while. Um, a handful of these songs I'd had, you know, ever since the last record or shortly thereafter. Um, but a big portion of these songs came at the very end, you know, right when I had a session scheduled, you know, I'm like the, the guy trying to finish a book on a deadline, you know, I realized there were some holes, uh, a few chapters I hadn't written and I wrote maybe a third of the record in the last couple of weeks and threw a lot of things away. But the idea was to do something that was much more stripped down than the last couple of records. I went back to a very old-fashioned way of working, you know, back in my early days, uh, you know, I wrote everything at, at the guitar or the piano, and then I weaned myself away from that completely and started working from loops and samples and, and trying to build up beds of songs where the lyrics would be the last thing that I considered. Uh, but with this record, I found I was going back kind of inadvertently to a very old idea of picking up a guitar and waiting for a song to drop out of it. And uh, I'm always surprised when they do. If you fear the angels above while you sleep, then I'll be the blood you paint on your door. Your dream is a worry that nothing will keep But time is a story and there will be more Your dream is a worry that nothing will keep But time is a story and there will be more I wanted the production to be as significant but I wanted it to be invisible. I didn't want you to see through an idea of a production, you know, a, a, a stance you know, as you know, as an auteur, I have to look through that at the songs. I wanted the listener to be looking right at the songs and be completely unaware that there was a production idea afoot. Uh, and I think that worked pretty well. I mean, it's it's stripped down and it's folkier in nature, um, but I don't think the the atmosphere of the record is any less intentional. Um, I just wanted it to be much more invisible. Time is a Lion is a song, uh, it's one of the earliest songs I had for uh, civilians. Kind of came out of nowhere and was the beginning, kind of the building block, you know. It was just kind of old world enough, just trashy enough, just bluesy enough, just Tin Pan Alley enough to, to hold my interest. And I'm sure, like any time you're working, you know, the first thing that you accept as a finished thing influences everything else and when you record it's the same way you know once you have a song that works and you decide that's a take that sensibility kind of carries over to everything else everything else has to make sense against that time is a lion was maybe the second or third song we recorded i think it became a template for the record in a certain way it certainly is as a tonality and and, and as, a, as a lyrical stance it sort of sets the table for everything else I you know how i do Well, I think that Civilians is a romantic record. I wanted there to be a dark but romantic, visceral feeling about it. I think there is a, there's a lot more space, a lot more air in this record than anything I've done before. I've allowed it to be clear in a way that I haven't been before. You know, it's been a fine line uh, for me to want to keep a vibe intact and a certain amount of smoke in the room. Uh, sonically and lyrically, uh, and yet not forsake the clarity. Um, kind of boldly available, uh, even if they might be difficult lyrically or, or, or dense lyrically, I want them to be kind of shockingly available. You know, I always think my records are 
funny and romantic, and I'm always dismayed when people find them dark and disturbing, because uh, I think that you know, there are elements like that at play. But uh, you know, I'm a romantic at heart. You can't see the challenge of this, I suppose, but time is a dare, and I'm trying. To... People have asked me, you know, uh, I go into a record store, you know, where would I find your records? What what section? And I always say the Joe Henry section, you know. I don't know where else it would be. Time is a dare, and I'm trying.